Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're gonna go over. Uh, we're gonna be doing a tier list for you for the uh, for UFC three or two the upcoming card. Um, it's gonna be in from two weeks from now, so we still got some time left. I mean, we don't have UFC coming up this weekend, so we're gonna have an off week from UFC. And um, I mean, I'm I'm getting excited for this card, man. It's, I think it's gonna be a better than better pay per view card than UFC three or one, which is uh, Steve versus versus Pintoza. We got Makachev, one of the most exciting fighters uh, in the UFC overall right now. And um, he's going to be taking on uh, Dustin Poirier in, in, the, in the main event. I mean, Dustin Poirier's third time uh, getting a title shot. Let's see if he can make something happen in this fight. So I'm really looking forward to this pay per view, man. And we're going to be rating fighters. Uh, we're going to be rating fights from uh, from S tier from S tier to D tier, depending on how exciting the fights are going to be. So let's start with the first fight, guys. First fight on the card is going to be Naim Jergo taking on uh, uh, Andre Lima and. This is a short notice fight for uh, Naim Jirgo. Naim Jirgo was supposed to, uh, I think Lima was supposed to be fighting Hansing Park, but um, Hansing Park had an injury or something like that. So um, now this guy's taking this on short notice. He's coming off road to the UFC. And um, I think this is going to be a really fun fight, man. I really like um, I le I really like the way Naim Jirgo fights. He's really aggressive. He's going to be under pressure right from the jump. And I think he's going to make Andre Lima fight at a high, really high pace. And I think it's gonna be one of the better, most more exciting fights on the card overall. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the eight tier list because I do think this fight could be uh, one of the most uh, exciting fights of the night. And uh, this is not, this this might be the the prelim opener, which is crazy because I think this could be one of the this could be a sleeper fight on the card. All right, guys, next fight on the card is gonna be Eileen Perez taking on uh, Jocelyn Edwards in a rematch. Now I, I wasn't aware they had a backstage brawl. I guess um, Edwards um, gave her a black eye, so that's what happened a couple months back. So now they're going to be settling their beef uh, out there in the octagon. And um, the way Eileen Perez fights, I think it's going to be one of the, I think it's going to be a horrible fight. But the story and the backstory, I think it's going to make it somewhat interesting. The way Eileen Perez fights, I think it's going to be boring. Um, I don't think it's going to be fun. I'm going to put this in deer here as much of a fan i am of eileen prez i know you guys are big fans fans of eileen prez um she's also got the only fans uh, if you guys didn't know um she used to be an only fans model but she started fighting now she does mma uh she's pretty boring to watch um i don't think her style is all that fun if edwards can defend some takedowns i mean this could be a fun fight but i'm gonna rate this i'm gonna put this in d tier list uh, I don't think it's gonna be an exciting fight. I don't know. I don't know why this fight's even on the pay per view card. Um, it should be on like a fight night card. Maybe put this on a fight night main card. I mean, at at most. I mean, I don't know why they have this on the on the pay per view. But I think it's gonna be fun. I mean, the backstory. Um, the fact they have beef already, so that's gonna make it somewhat interesting. And um, yeah, that's I'm gonna put that on D tier list because uh, I don't think it's gonna be an exciting fight. All right, guys. Up next, we got uh, Mickey Gale taking a Basil Hafez. Now, if you guys watch JDM versus Basil Hafez, you guys already see, you guys have already seen how exciting this guy is. He's a non-stop, uh, non-stop pressure wrestler. Um, has a good striking. I mean, it's not that technical on the feet, but I think um, I think this is the showcase fight for Basil Hafez, man. Um, they're giving him. He took the, he did the UFC a favor, taking that uh, JDM fight on short notice, and gave JDM one of his toughest fights in the UFC. I think they're giving uh, him an easy matchup here. They're giving him someone that hasn't fought in two years is coming off a layoff. Man, uh, I think this could be exciting, man. I think this could be an exciting fight. Uh, if Basil Hafez uh, goes for the KO, I think he can, I think he can get the KO on the feed. Should I put this? I think the, I'm going to put this on the... I am going to put this in the B tier list because I think this could be an exciting fight. Now, can this be boring? Can Basil Hafez just uh, take him down over and over, just control him, not really get a finish? I mean, I could see that happening because Basil Hafez will go for takedowns over and over. Uh, if he doesn't like what's happening on the feet, if he doesn't uh, want to entertain the striking here. But I feel like he is going to entertain the striking. So I'm going to put this in the B tier list because I think Basil Hafez is fun to watch. And I think he's going to go for the KO. Um, but... Mickey Gale is coming off a two-year layoff, so maybe he's gonna have, he's gonna be fighting at a really slow pace. He might need some time to get his timing uh, out there. So I think this I think this could be a fun fight on the card overall. Um, all right, guys. Up next, we got um, Nico Price taking on Alex Morono. Now this is a rematch. Uh, we got another rematch. I mean, the the Edwards versus uh, Eileen Prowse is not really official rematch, but I mean they had a backstage fight. But this is official rematch, and. Uh, 
Where should, where should we put Morono versus Nico Price? I like when Nico Price. I like watching Nico Price fight a lot. This guy is um, he's an absolute junkyard dog. I mean, takes a lot of damage out there. I think this could be fun. I think this could be a fun fight, man. Um, I am gonna put this in. Uh, I think this could be fun. I think this we're gonna see a finish here. Uh, the way Nico Price has been fighting out there, he's always fun. His fights are always fun to watch. Um, the only way I see this fight being boring if Morono just jabs him for three rounds and doesn't really like trying to finish him. Um, maybe Nico Price gets some respect because he knocked him out in the first fight. Um, Morono was winning that fight up until he got knocked out in the, at the buzzer in the second round, so that's what happened there. I think this could be uh, I think this could be an exciting fight. I'm gonna put this on the eight tier list. I think this could be a fun fight on the card. All right, guys. Up next, we got Phil Rowe taking on Jake Matthews. Now this could be, I think this could be a fun fight, man. Jake Matthews is, uh, he's fun to watch, man. Doesn't have a lot of power on the feet, but I think the way Phil Rowe is going to make him fight, he's going to be, I think Phil Rowe is going to go for it, man. He does throw, he does get, he will get reckless at times. And I think he's going to, he's going to go for it. So I'm, I'm going to put this in the B tier list. I think um, the only way I see this fight being boring, if uh, Matthews can't deal with the range, can't deal with the reach, and he just trying to like, he just goes goes in on the grappling and um I think I think Ferro can make the, make this fight exciting and I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun fight on the card. And um, I'm gonna put this in the B tier list. I think that could be a fun fight. Up next we got uh, Grant Dawson taking on Joe Selecki. Now I like watching grappling and I mean I know people are gonna be like, Oh you you just hate grappling, that's why you put all these grapplers uh, on the lower tier. I like watching grappling, man. Grappling is fun when people are going for submissions, not really just controlling. And Grant Dawson does go for submissions. But sometimes he just controls people. I mean, just doesn't have much power on the feed. None of these guys are going to be good strikers, I feel like, in this fight. I am going to put this in... Um, I am going to put this in C tier list. I think this could be boring if... Um, they're just grappling each other, not really going for a submission, not really trying to land damage on the ground. I mean, uh, maybe Grant Dawson is just trying to wrestle him because he's going to wrestle him. He's going to take him down. Maybe Joe Selecki can take his back at times, uh, maybe try to look for submissions, and he's not going to get a submission on Grant Dawson, which is going to be tough getting a submission on him. This could be this could be uh, like a 15-minute uh, just wet blanketing each other. I could see that happening in this fight. All right, guys. Up next, we got uh, Roman Coppola versus Cesar Almeida. Man, I think this is gonna be one of the better matchups on this card. I'm really excited for this fight, man. I, I'm gonna put this in S tier list. I think the way they're gonna fight, I don't think we're gonna see much. I think this is gonna be a stand-up fight. The way Coppola fights, I mean, he makes you fight at a really high pace, and I think Almeida is gonna entertain that uh, high pace, fighting at a high pace. And now these guys are both strikers. They're high-level kickboxers, and um, obviously Coppola has more experience in UFC. I think he's gonna be more comfortable out there, but uh, I like the chance of Almeida here. I think Almeida can make something happen, and uh, Almeida's a really proven kickboxer. Fought Alex Pereira three times, went the distance, even has a win over Alex Pereira back in like ten years ago. So he's 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 seen some high level looks out there, and uh, I, I'm this is one of the better fights on the card uh, in my opinion. I mean, this is a absolute amazing, uh, great matchmaking by the UFC, and I think um, I think they're trying to give uh, Almeida a favorable matchup here. And I think this is going to be a striking matchup. We could see a knockout in this fight. We could see these guys hurting each other. This could be like a really back and forth uh, striking matchup. So I'm going to put this in the S tier list. S tier, I mean, so that's going to be uh, on the S tier for sure. All right, guys. Up next, we got um, Kevin. No, we, we don't. We got Randy Brown versus uh, versus uh, Alessio Jaleski Dos Santos. Now, I think this could be fun. I think this fight could be fun, man. I think Randy Brown, they're both mostly strikers. I mean, Jaleski has better BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but they're both pretty accomplished black belt in BJJ uh, Randy Brown has night he's got a black belt in BJJ I think also he can grapple offensively if he needs to he can go for submissions um, none of these guys are really gonna be wrestling out there I feel like it's gonna be mostly a striking matchup and I think this could this could be one of the better fights on the uh, on, on the uh, on the card I mean so I am gonna put this in the A tier list because Zaleski is always fun to watch and Randy Brown is fun to watch I think we could see a finish here uh, the only way I could see this fight being boring if uh, Randy Brown just stays at range, just uh, lands those uh, jabs over and over, outpoint Zaleski, and Zaleski can't get the, get his timing. But I think Zaleski is gonna make him fight. Um, he's gonna make him fight in the pocket, and uh, he's gonna make this a brawl. 
And that's what Jaleski needs to do here. He needs to, he needs to turn this fight into a brawl. So I'm going to put this in the eight tier list. I think this is one of the better fights in the, uh, of the card. And I'm really excited for Jaleski, man. Jaleski made uh, Renat Fakadina look human out there. His last fight I almost finished Renat Fakadina, who uh, everyone was so high on, including me. I was really high on Renat Fakadina in that fight also. All right, guys. Um, up next we got uh, Jayulton Almeida versus um, uh, Alexander the Blob Romanov. No, I think this could be okay fight. I think this is gonna be fun, man. Even though they're gonna be grappling mostly, Almeida just doesn't really like striking out there. He's gonna be shooting takedowns right from the jump, and I think this could be a fun fight. I'm gonna put this in the beat here, cause um, Romanov is pretty sloppy. He might not even make weight for this fight. He might come in look looking like an absolute blob. Um, he might just look like really fat out there uh, on the scales. Um, look at his picture right here. This guy has a big one pack already. And um, if he comes in prepared, I think this could be a fun fight. Or if he doesn't come in prepared, I feel like Almeida just gonna submit him in the first round. Um, it could be a it could be an early finish from Almeida. Almeida is gonna be way more athletic than Romanov, and this might be early night for Romanov. So. If he comes prepared, I think that he, this could be a back and forth. Uh, we could see some nice grappling with each other. Because Romanov has nice wrestling also. He can shoot blast. Um, he can shoot takedowns from like... He's really explosive. He's not as athletic and as Almeida. He doesn't have the BG that Almeida has. But he's got nice ground and pound. Maybe he can make get an upside here. But I don't really think it's likely. Um, I think it's going to be a fun fight. I like, I'm going to put I'm gonna put this in the beat here. All right, guys. Up next, we got Kevin Holland versus uh, Mikhail Lojicic. Now, I am gonna put this in the in the S tier list. I think this is gonna be one of the better matchups, man. Mikhail Lojicic fights are always fun. Him going out there getting a finish, or him going out there getting finished. I mean, it's gonna be fun, man. And Kevin Holland is always in fun fights. His last fight with the with the MVP was really fun. His fight before that with JDM was kind of lackluster. But uh, every most of his fights, I mean, ninety percent of Kevin Holland fights, they're all like absolutely uh are mostly like um really fun to watch i mean i think this could be a, one of the better fights on the uh, of the night um i think i think we're gonna see a finish here for sure i'm, I'm i am taking kevin holland by a club and sub submission probably like first or second second on submission from kevin holland because i don't think all of Jitchik really has the cardio to um stay technical for three rounds and outpoint uh, kevin holland i think kevin holland's gonna hurt him on the on the feet then lock in uh, maybe a dart choke i'm gonna say dart choke from Kevin Holland. All right, guys. Um, up next we got uh, oh, we're wow, we're already at the at the main at the co main win right now. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you guys enjoy these type type of videos, and uh, sub to the channel, guys. We're getting close to fifteen hundred subscribers. I appreciate you guys, each and one of you guys that sub to the channel that watch these videos, and uh, I love doing these uh, tier list videos. It's really fun. All right, guys. We're at the co main win of the evening, man. We got Sean Strickland versus Kev uh, Paula Costa. Now where should I put Paula Costa and um, and Sean Strickland? I think this is gonna be a fun fight because Paula Costa uh, is gonna be looking to land those ones, those bombs. I mean, looking to land those body kicks, those nasty body kicks that he has, those head kicks, those sneaky. Head He's got some sneaky head kicks too. And Strickland's gonna be looking to just box him up uh, in the pocket. I mean, he's got really good boxing. Um, has some of the best striking defense out there. Also, the punches really well. Um, could this go the distance? I think this could go the distance. Um, e even if it goes the distance, I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be an exciting fight. And um, I am gonna put this in the S tier list. I think this could be a back and forth fight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this in the S tier list. I think I think it's gonna be five rounds. I think we're gonna see a ton of action in this fight. Um, I don't think Paul Lacoste is gonna make this fight boring. His his last fight with Whitaker was really fun, and he he was trying to finish Whitaker in the first couple of rounds. Whitaker was able to take the damage. I mean, I think Paul Costa is going to go for it. This is a big opportunity. Normally, he shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have gotten this opportunity, if we're being honest, because uh, he just lost to Whitaker, who was in the top five. Uh, Paul Costa is ranked number 10 right now, fighting uh, Strickland, who just lost a close, close fight to Duplessis. I think uh, Strickland should win this fight, but I think Costa is going to make this fight fun. He's going to go for it. I feel like I don't think he's going to respect Strickland's power much. If the Strickland can get on the jab early, I think Paula Costa is gonna make him. Uh, it's gonna be a. It might. This might turn into a brawl, um, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I, I'm gonna put this in the S tier. Alright, guys, we're at the main event of the evening. I've got Islam Makachev. Islam Makachev versus uh, Dustin Poirier. Best fight of the night, man. I think this is gonna be one of the better fights of the night. 
Um, obviously, that's why it's the main win. I mean, it's not Makachev versus Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier fights there. I was abs- one of the. He's one of the most exciting um, lightweights ever, and he's one of the most exciting fighters. Um, no matter which class, which weight class we're talking about, and Makachev was uh, always fun to watch. I know Mark people be like people are saying people say that Makachev is just boring. He's a grappler. I don't know. I think people just that those are just Islam haters. I think Makachev, um, I mean, who doesn't want to watch Makachev fight? I don't know anyone that's a fight fan that doesn't watch Makachev fights. The way he went out there, knocked out Wokanowski with the head kick, that was absolutely nasty. We've never seen Wokanowski get knocked out like that before. It's not knocked him out in the UFC. He's been knocked out before. I mean, Wokanowski was knocked out um, before he made it to UFC, but no one's ever done that to Wokanowski. Other than Tapori, obviously, recently, but Makachev, I mean, made him look like easy work out there. And Wokanowski was known as one of the best strikers. I think this could be a striking match, I mean, I know people were like, a lot of us are expecting Makachev to wrestle here, and he might not, he might not even wrestle, he might just be like, oh, let me just knock this guy out, man, I think I'm making a ton of improvements in the striking, and he might just go for the KO here, I could see him knocking out uh, Poirier on the feet also, which is crazy to say, but I could see a knockout here from Makachev, I really could, I could see him also getting a top position on on Poirier, and running some nasty ground and pound, getting him out of the ground and pound, I could also see him landing a head kick like Justin Gates. If Justin Gates, he can land a head kick on you. I think Makachev is like levels ahead of Justin Gates. He can set up a head kick. He can set up a counter. He can set up that red hook overhand right. I mean, catch him with a counter. I think this is going to be... So these are my... This is my tier list, guys. So we got uh, Kapila, Kevin Hall, Kapila versus Almeida. Um, Kevin Holland versus Ola Chichik. We got Paulo Costa versus uh, Strickland. We got Makachev versus Justin Poirier. Um, in the S tier, we got in the A tier, we got um, Lima versus uh, um, what's this guy's name again? <laughs> I almost forgot his name. Um, Nemjigo, Nemjigo. Yeah, um, this is gonna be fun. I think these fights are all gonna be fun, man. The only fight I could see be bo- being boring on this fight on this card, I think it's gonna be uh, Eileen Perez versus uh, Jocelyn Edwards. But they still got some beef. I mean, they got some beef coming into this fight, so I think it's gonna be fun. Um, that, that's the only fight I, I could see I could see being uh, somewhat boring but overall man great card I mean great matchmaking by the UFC and I can't wait to watch it man let me know if you guys enjoy these enjoy these videos man drop a like um, the likes if you if you guys drop a like on this video I'll do more videos like this um, like this I mean um, and I'm also gonna do a tier list for the each fighter chance of winning on this card um, tier list. I uh, we did that for UFC 301, and we got all the S tier fighters came through. Um, uh, most of the A uh, A tier fighters uh, won on the on the card. Uh, we only got like one one fighter wrong. So that was a really good video. I like making videos like this. So let me know if you guys like this content. Drop a like. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy, guys. Later. Hope you guys have a good week. Stay healthy out there and stay safe. Catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.